Hey everybody, this is Cholera and I am with Rise once again. Uh, you guys love this uh, our dual commentaries, I guess. We've gotten some uh, good responses to our last ones, and during the holiday break we will keep putting them out. This is Samson Khan versus Korean Air Force Ace, played on December 31st, 2008. Uh, it's got a lot of big name players over Sky in the first set here against Great, a, uh, a pretty good Zerg player on Samsung Con this season. Um, it, I've always said, uh, you know, they need a good Zerg player, and they found it in Great, I think. Great this season uh, is just doing great. He also is 7-3 and three against Zerg players, so a better 2 on record. Oversky has been around for a long time. He is... Uh, the best player on Air Force Ace now, but uh, his pro league record has only been seven and seven this season. He's 48 percent against Zerk, but he is a, a good player, and uh, you know I really like him a lot, so I have good hopes for him. Yeah, I do too. I mean, Oversky is the only player I've ever seen to successfully complete a sunken rush on both Katrina and Coliseum. I mean, one map that doesn't <laughs> right. even have creep in front of the base, and one map that does. Uh, I don't think anyone has successfully completed on other otherwise. So. Uh, he is just one of those really creative players that is so much fun to watch. And so every time we see a game of him, I try to either commentate it or uh, hope that someone else commentates it so I can get a really good uh, uh, English commentary of the game because he's just he's exciting. So these guys, they're playing on Andromeda. This is a very large map. I haven't seen that many TVT, uh, sorry, ZVZs on this map before. Yeah, it's definitely not. Uh, I think it's a little, a little bit big for, for typical ZVZ play, especially the fact that these two have cross-map positions. So this is going to make for uh, an interesting game that, you know, we, we don't really see this this type of uh, map layout in the ZVZ. You think that we have some uh, some weird strategies to come out of here from either of these players, or are we going to see uh, straight up ZVZ uh, typical games here? Well, you know, I think uh, one definite option in this map is a 12 hatchery build. And uh, we have here, by the way, Great in the upper left. He is going for a 9 pool. And uh, a 12 hatch is possible, especially with these cross positions. Um, you know, it, it's something we've seen before. And Oversky actually likes doing them, believe it or not. He's actually done them quite a few times uh, uh, to success or to failure. Um, but, you know, he likes that slightly. He likes to get a macro advantage. And I can understand, because he plays for Air Force Ace. He doesn't have as much time to practice. So he might feel like he needs a, he needs a build order advantage but this time if he goes for it he's gonna be in for some real disaster because he's facing a, a nine pool here a nine pool with gas so c once this gets spotted he could go for nine pool speed or he could go for a fast lair either of which could be really bad for Oversky and this is really looking like it's gonna be a build order loss from Oversky. Oversky though has some very strong ZVZ skills he was the one who broke Jadong's 13 game winning streak he broke it off at the 13th game when Jadong looked like it was absolutely unstoppable in Zerg versus Zerg none other than Oversky broke it, so I do have hope for him, but this is technically supposed to be a build or a loss. Look, his pool is going down only when the, um, when the Zerglings are coming out already for great. This is not looking good for him, I gotta say, but I, I think he, he was playing into the fact that the map is so big, and uh, these kids aren't even going to scout each other for a while, so he may have that to True. his advantage if he can get the pool up in time. Um, and, and I mean, it depends on the timing of the next on, of the uh, second hatchery, because then I mean, he he would be ahead if he, if he managed to defend this off, I would think. But oh man, great is going straight cross positions. He's not even scouting the top right. So uh, this right. is going to be bad for Oversky after all. He's going to be able to get six wings up, but not before great is in his base with eight. I think he's going to be there with eight. And, oh no. That right is going to be hats. real tough. Yeah, man, I think so. <laughs> I, I, this is going to be real tough for uh, Oversky to defend against. And he, look at his face. Oh. He knows that he's in trouble. Lair going down too, though. So he's going to do his best to uh, fight this off. And oh, he's just he's going to try to do his best drone micro ever and hope that he can uh, survive this. And so far, he hasn't lost one yet. And uh, those links oh, are popping out. So up. he may actually be able to defend this. Uh, but he still has the two bases to defend, which is difficult. And now oh, we see no. <coughs> a total of 14 so many links, links, I think. That is uh, going yeah. up against six, by the way. And they have speed upgrade now. Uh, we're going to see a drone drill again. He's not going to be able to pull this off, I don't think. Uh, not with that many links wow. that he's fighting against. And now the reinforcements have showed up. And uh, I think I think that's already it for uh, for Oversky, even though I'm sure... Oh, no, but he is pumping links. And he's got the, uh, the yeah. base... Backup advantage, but oh no, oh god, Lings and Drones just getting murdered, and, and Oversky just lost too many units it's to, over. to possibly survive this. Ouch, <coughs> ouch. That was a quick I one. gotta say though, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is the worst thing that could happen. He went speed, obviously, first, uh, Great did, but 
<laughs> the reason why I see map hacks is how the hell did he know he was going for this? I'm a little annoyed because, yes, yes, I guess, you know, okay, so he scouted the bottom left and he assumed, I'm going to go for the fastest possible way, which, uh, you know, the, uh, I mean, he's going to go to the bottom right, and if he's not there, then he's going to go for the upper right, uh, but, you know, I, I mean, it still annoys me a little bit. Obviously, they weren't map happening, but still, it annoys me that it was such a build or a loss for Oversky. Nothing you can do about <laughs> he's it. He's dead to his drones. Yeah, <laughs> GG. Um, oh, yeah, that, nothing more to say. This is a open and closed book here. Nine pool versus twelve hatch. That's a disastrous result you face. Uh, I, I know Especially why Over, Overskai did it. Yeah, because he thought this is a um, <laughs> this is a very macro heavy map. Um, you could definitely expect a lot of twelve pool into expansions. Unfortunately, he wasn't facing a twelve pool into expansion. If he had done one, he would have been fine. But uh, he went for twelve hatch, and, and look at this guy. Great. He's like, yeah, hey, I got map hacks, and I know it. I'm just surprised that you know. <laughs> Well, I guess the moment he saw the, the hatchery, he said, okay, I'm going speed, and then he pumped out Link. So I guess it makes sense. It did look a yeah. little bit shady to me. No, of course not. All right, guys, moving on to game two. Thanks for watching.